uh, of course, first of all, say hello. And as I've greeted you this morning, uh, team manager is here with us this morning. Good morning. And also the captain, Mr. Daniel Joe and Bonnie Nato, who is the team manager. Now, I'm just talking in general here. For our first question, I would like to go on first with you, uh, Ms. Vonnie uh, Nato. It's good to oh, have you. Being a you. female to manage a team of boys, especially in soccer, as we all know that, you know, being a female part, how does it feel? How long have you been doing this for? Thank you, ma'am. And thank you for having both of us. Um, uh, first, I'll introduce myself. Um, as you have mentioned, my name is Voni uh, Etsakinato. Um, I'm the general manager, not the team manager, and I'm the owner of the club also. Uh, I've been with football since 2003 until today. And when Curry become, uh, entered the National Premier League in 2006, I'm the manager in 2006 to 2010 to the FIFA Club World Cup until today. Uh, it's, it's a lot of challenge, but on the other side, it's exciting when you lead many different walks of life and you see changes from them. Because not all players have good discipline. Uh, all players are very different. Some are good, some have some character that I need to work on. But I think it, it works well being a mother, you know. We mothers are very different from men. Uh, we have patience and we have love for the kids. And that drives me to really help. I have three beautiful children. And the same treatment I did for my kids, I took it to my football team. Being a mother, being a wife, I feel that it's not a hard challenge, knowing very well that PNG is a dominant uh, man's country. Uh, to manage a man's team, yes, it is very tough. But as I said earlier, it's exciting when I see changes from many young people when they came into our organization, to our team, and we apply our rules and regulations for them to comply. And when they have changes, it's exciting and motivate me to carry on. And hopefully one day people from the country can step in and help me out. And when my time is up, they can drive from there. Thank you very much, Mr. Fonny Nato. That's very interesting. And which country do you come from? Uh, I came from Solomon Islands. I came from an island called Bellona. It's a Polynesian island south of Honiara. Um, it's a one hour from Honiara to my mm. island. I miss my home. I left my home when this is my 30 years in Papua New Guinea. So, mm. yeah. Being one of the experienced manager here, as you speak, you know, as a mother, and uh, as you are clearly uh, stating that, of course, being a mother, you find it very interesting to run a yeah. team. And also not only a team, but also your children. It, this is something that given you an experience of life that, you know, yeah. you can, you have this belief in yourself that you can do anything. And yeah. that is very, very interesting there. Now for you to start managing the team here, the Hekari, which is one of the champions in the Ocean Year League here. Yeah. Uh, how does it feel like uh, ever since when you started uh, carrying out that responsibility? Well, it, it is very in, in, interesting and encouraging because the experience I have, I learn a lot from OFC, the competition they have. I've learned a lot from our National Soccer League in Papua New Guinea, which has motivated me and encouraged me to, to learn more so that I can, I can pass on to the future generation of our team in years to come, especially with the management part. Because I have seen that the biggest issue that we have in a lot of clubs in our country, and I believe in the Oceania, is management. If you have a good management team, then you can drive a team to where they are. And if you have a management team that uh, contradict to your thought for players to discipline and do better and you're not displaying yourself that way, then I feel that it will never work. Mm. So for me, it's exciting. I enjoy it. That's the reason I'm still here today after 21 years. Yeah. Oh, wow. Looks like it's very exciting. I am so proud as a woman, as a female myself here. And what are some of the things that, you know, the challenges that you face along the way? Being a female, I understand as we are yeah. talking, the excitement of it is getting into me yeah. as well. Wanting to know what are some of the things that you come across that makes you uh, feel like, you know, you want to put more and your aims to be able to achieve what you have and also help other people, especially yeah. the team that you manage. 
Well, don't ever forget that not all, play, not all uh, players or a person will be an educated person. Mm. And I think the thing that motivates me is if they don't have that education background, I think sports, because many of them are talented players, I think they were born to be mm. a great player. That helps me to really push the talent they have so that one day they can end. Like Hikaru will look after our players very well. Um, medically we are there for them in stores mm -hmm. we are there for them knowing that most of my players uh only few that came out from school good background and good school uh, education majority of them they mm -hmm. came from quite sad um uh, situation but we put them in a stage that they work very hard and they are the best in the country and i'm very proud about that i have done a big transition to my team Mm -hmm. um, if you can see all my coaches today, David Multa, Erickson Komeng, Wira Wama and Godfrey Banyo, these are former Hikari players and they're mm -hmm. former national players of our country. And I really want to see them take over as a player to be coaches and might be manage the team one day. And that's the drive I want to see them. Mm -hmm. Not only that, reminding them that being a, if you one day you settle, mm -hmm. being a father, you have a lot of road to do. And Coming out from our management, I believe this young player, to me, I'm the proudest person because I have my uh, mm. young players coming into the team now mm. uh, to play in this high level competition. And I have my former players now become our team officers and coaches. That's satisfying. And I really want to drive on that so that not only this generation, but generation to come, they can do better like mm. what I did and hopefully they can be a good role model to the people, to the young generation. Thank you very much. Um, being in this uh, competition now in Vanuatu, this is your eighth time that you've taught me that yeah. coming back to Vanuatu is not your first time, yeah. but this is yeah. the eighth time. Yeah. Uh, being in this, uh, you know, uh, the competition right now, yeah. uh, what do you see and what are your expectations here and uh, uh, your hopes uh, for uh, this game that is happening in this present time? Because I understand we've been through a lot of challenges in the past, the COVID-19 that yeah. came, yeah. and I understand the training itself didn't make it on time. So how yeah. long from there? I mean, all these things make us feel like sometimes it gets us to a position where you want to give up or you don't want to do anything, you know. <laughs> and for you, being in this competition now that we are yeah. in and, you know, the boys are out there in the field competing, mm -hmm. uh, as a manager, uh, seeing this right now, how does it feel? And it's well, to me, it's exciting. Uh, there are a few reasons. Um, other times I came here as visiting our friends and other times we came for the Champions League, they call it O-League in, in years bike. Um, now let's come back to the competition today. The Hikari team that I have today is a totally new young team. Um, mm. And this is what I've been working um, in the past seven years. I think two years was the COVID, two and a half years or three years. Then in the past five years, there is a, a different champion, which is mm. Lake City. They've been uh, representing our country. but. After we beat them this season, it's exciting to see now that the young generation, the transition I've taken from the senior to the young team, it's really exciting because um, why we came here today? Because of them. Mm. They work so hard. We work so hard together. And uh, for me, I know it is a tough challenge because this is most of them are new to the country. Most of them have never traveled in their lives uh, mm. to overseas. And they're all young to this experience in the highest competition of our Oceania. It is very encouraging when we beat the home ground the very first day. I can see the joy in their heart knowing that it is a big team. Mm -hmm. We have so much respect for Ifira uh, Blackbird. And for me, seeing the young team have been in one of the great experience team, it was exciting. Yesterday we lost by one nil. It didn't discourage me. I was mm. very excited because they held one of the big team in New Caledonia. Mm. So I don't really have a lot of expectation to my team now. Might be in two or three years down the line, uh, we can do, but we are here to compete. And to me, I'm very proud of them. They're doing very well. Mm. And something encourages me is the discipline that really makes me encouraged when I saw these young people have been from a different type of life to a better life, especially when coming to discipline and into mm -hmm. football. Very interesting talking with you, uh, Ms. Uh, 
known for me yeah. uh, this morning. I mean, talking about your experience just make me feel like, you know, uh, it's an exciting, especially being a female yourself in this position. <laughs> I am so excited. Any other last um, encouragement you want to put out there to encourage yeah. people? Thank you for asking me the question. Another thing that I'm, I'm a, I own Academy in Papua New Guinea. I have a big Hikari Academy, football academy in PNG, which is I'm um, started to spread out into the country. I have thousands of kids mm. from under six, uh, from three years to under 16. Mm. And again, it was my drive. I'm proud to announce that some of my players in my team today, they are from my academy. Mm. And when we established our academy in 2007, this is where I felt that I have a great future for the club ahead of me, not only for me, but for our FA, PNG Football, and for might be other clubs might need some players from our academy. And that's exciting because I'm spreading out to the country and I'm just wishing and hoping Vanuatu can do that. Mm -hmm. You know, if we ladies, if I can do that, yeah. anyone can do that. It is a hard job, but at the end it's satisfying and you will feel or like how I felt today. It's, it's, fulfill the dream that I really want to see them in that highest level playing football that came out from our academy and it's exciting. I wish our ladies and our men in here and clubs in Vanuatu can do the same of what I'm doing. There is a good fruit out of it one day in this country. Thank you very much. It's such a pleasure to have you here this morning and it's uh, sharing your experience. Um, you. I feel so excited uh, sharing with you and I hope that you know in the future we will see more manager female manager managing right. uh, you know the team especially in the football uh, right. to get to the stage where you know being in the champions and going furthermore so thank you so much miss boni for your time thank i wish you, you all the best me. and good luck uh, for the uh, games that will be happening in the near in future especially this coming sunday there'll be a game that's happening as well thank, thank you, you. Just to start on our end of uh, conversations, Mr. Tanya, this morning, uh, what's the feeling like in the camp after your first um, one against the home side? Uh, exciting feeling. Yeah, you after were we won the first match. Yeah. Very exciting. How old are you when you started looking at putting yourself and being interested in playing football? Uh, yeah. I was about um, 16, 17. 16, yeah. 17 years old. Good. Good. Somebody inspired you? Did anyone inspire you to play football there? Oh, yes. Um, um, my dad and um, uh, one of uh, I will call it uh, as a mentor. Yeah. Uh, his name is Roger. Yeah. So being a captain now to one of the professional team, how does it feel being a captain in a team now? Uh, Do you know that someday you will be a captain to... A demon, how, how does it feel? Now I can see the excitement in you, but you just don't want to express it. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's, um, I feel um, very privileged to be a captain of the, one of the biggest clubs in PNG. Mm. Yeah, so, very So how privileged. long have you been a captain there? Now? Oh, it's just uh, uh, this year, yeah. Just this yeah. year, to come just, here. Yeah. Congratulations, that's a very big step there. Thank you. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, being one of the experienced side in the competition, how long did it take you to prepare for this tournament? Um, we prepared um, when we qualified for the Champions League. After that, we start you... our preparation. Mm. So being in that position of preparation, you're looking forward to come here and compete. Yes. Yeah. Can you share your experience as a player? As a player, I, um, I'm very excited to be here. And yeah. You know, showcase our talent. Yeah, yeah. So, have you ever got any injured while playing, or you were just good up until now? You are in the competition because this is a very big competition. Oh yes, we looked after by our club. So you were very well looked yes. after, and you're happy. What's your challenge as a captain? Um, my challenge is um to you know. Play our best for the uh, in the last game and mm. qualify for. The so same one final. of the challenges, yeah. you know, you're trying to do your best. Yeah. To produce a good game there and be your best. Yes. Oh wow! Since you were new to this position, as a company, you were new. You started started this year. 
What is one thing that you love about Vanuatu? I know that you told me this is your second time. And <laughs> what is one thing that you want to say and love about Vanuatu? Uh, one of the things I love here is uh, the people, are, they are friendly and uh, they, are, they, I mean, they welcome us and yes. we feel at home. So looking forward, Captain, as, as in you, you mentioned you're new, but I know you have some calls there. Uh, what are some of the things as a captain here? If you won this competition, uh, what are your bigger uh, vision here on what you're going to do if you win the competition that's, you know, you're being part of here in Vanuatu? Um, uh, we have our academy, so yeah. we'll go back and we try to, you know, you know spread the academy yeah. to and other provinces and make it big. Wow. Well, it sounds like, Captain, you are so excited. This is the whole new thing to you. And you are just starting here being a captain, you know. But I wish you all the best and good luck for being in that position. Because don't forget, you are a person in this position where you're going to make a big difference and show a good example and be the leader there to uh, show. And I know with the humble heart that you have, thank you for your time here this morning. Is there any other message you want to encourage any boys out there, the little boys, the children, or the, anyone who's working out there? In Vanuatu, we do have a lot of young people, youths out there who, you know, anything as a captain here you wanted to encourage um, our fellow? Uh, my encouragement to um, everyone out there is um, whatever you do, just give your best and, and be humble always. Thank you. Well, it looks like this is um, the time we had here. Thank you very much for your time, Captain. And you're looking forward for Sunday's uh, game? Yes. And uh, this is against which team um, that you're going to? Yes, It is period. Uh, yes. All right. So I wish you all the best, Captain, and good luck for your team uh, for the game this coming Sunday. And thank you very much for your time this morning with me sharing that experience. It's big uh, for me to see you that you've got a, such a humble heart. And thank you very much. God will bless you in all that you do. Thank you.